Hello people of the internet and welcome back to Millennium Edition 56 and today we're going to be reviewing this th pop and eh, whatever alarm clock this cost me $21.99 uh, when I bought this on Amazon during Black Friday uh, last year so uh, let's have a look and let's see if this thing is any good so here it is and all of its uh, alarm clock glory and obviously you guys are thinking oh this is gonna be boring but oh oh there's a lot to cover in this one so uh, stay tuned alright so on the front here we have the LCD display but you wouldn't know it because it looks kinda glossy we have a US here let me grab this real quick do 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 eh, keep rolling Obviously, it is uh, reflective. <laughs> you can see my ugly face. Um, we have a USB uh, port for loading your music and a USB port for charging. A microphone input, I believe, for calling, Bluetooth calling. And this thing does have Bluetooth and a thermometer sensor for temperatures. On the side, we get nothing. On the back we get a bunch of stuff. We get our speakers, which are two, I want to say one inch drivers, our uh, five volt DC input, sleep button, uh, Celsius Fahrenheit adjustment, aux input, which is also used for the on antenna on this thing, and the micro SD card slot for loading your own music on here. Ugh. Who uses that? And good question. On this side, also nothing. On the top here, we have a volume knob. That actually doesn't feel too bad. Button within the volume knob, or alarms. Skip and uh, backtrack and mode button for the multimedia, which like I said, I'll get to that here in a moment. And on the bottom here, you have your uh, CR2032 battery, and here's the model number, K11, Bluetooth alarm clock speaker with dual USB charger, model number K11. By the way, it's made by the... I'm not going to try and pronounce that again, that was awful. Alright, so, let's plug it in, and let's uh, have a look at it, shall we? Alright, let's plug her in. Here's the cord that comes uh, with it if you can see it. Um, it's a really cheap cord. Enough said. Alright, and then there's all the displays showing. Now obviously uh, it decided it wanted to default Sunday, but the reason why is because the battery in this thing is dead or doesn't work. I don't know which one, but we'll go ahead and use that for the sake of demonstration. And it does come with a manual but the manual is almost impossible to understand because it's not very good English and they're not very good instructions. So, I will now use this time to be your owner's manual and show you stuff that you, the uh, consumer, need to know about setting this clock. And I might do a separate video on this for those who don't have an owner's manual. So this is, uh, so when you long press this, you can change it from 12 to 24 hour. And now you can change the time if you want. Uh, after another long press. So yeah, there you are. In my case it is 12.30 pretty much. And now you can change the day. In my case, today is Saturday, so we're going to change it to Saturday. Come on. Yeah, this knob is infuriating sometimes. And there you go. Now the time is set. And uh, pressing the button will dim it and shut the display, or pressing the button will shut the display off, dim, second dim, and brightest mode, and then it shuts it off. And there you are, that's what the knob does when uh, 
you need to set the time. Now, as I said, to set the temperature, you have to press that uh, Celsius Fahrenheit button that I showed you earlier in the video. And there you go. Now you have uh, Fahrenheit if you're here in the States. Of course, we're the only people that use it. Here, here in the States, we're the only people who use it. Um, and uh, mode, the mode button right here is what you use to get to your uh, destined modes. Because you have Bluetooth, you have radio, you have an aux input, you have an SD card, and you have USB. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with uh, Bluetooth. And we're going to analyze the sound quality of the Bluetooth on here. Which obviously it's already gotten my uh, phone connected. Here it is at 8 volume. Here it is at a lower volume. Alright, here's a new tune uh, by Cardi B. <laughs> uh, not exactly something I would listen to all the time, but it's not bad. Alright, so here's another new tune. You could call me crazy because I want you and I never even never never met you. So obviously there's more to it than just playing music. You can uh, use that to pause it. You can use this to play. And then you can use this to skip the track if you want. So uh, now that we've demonstrated uh, Bluetooth and uh, it actually sounds really good. The Bluetooth on this thing is actually pretty good. I'm surprised. I was surprised by that. And uh, the range, obviously, it isn't much because this is an alarm clock. This is not a full range Bluetooth speaker. It is just an alarm clock. So let's get on with it and let's show you what we can do with the radio. So obviously I need to go get a knock cord of some sort. So you really don't need an aux cord, but it's just better for the signal if you do. Uh, so stronger signals coming without the aux cord. So let me go through and now one knock I'm gonna give this thing right away is it's not intuitive at all to use the uh, radio controls. Then once you do figure it out, sometimes you gotta thumb through yourself, which is kind of difficult. Because see, this is a another station that could have came in but didn't. You definitely want a uh, an aux cord if you're gonna try and get anything on this thing. Like I said, this is very unintuitive. I do not rec In fact, I kind of wish they would get rid of that. Very unintuitive. Okay, it's not picking up my favorite radio station, which sucks, but... Like I said, usually, like, if you plug in a uh, aux cord, the trust me, the signal's a lot better. I just can't find an aux cord right now, and... Since I'm running tight on time, I'm just going to have to uh, move on to the next mode, which is aux. Okay, you know that one by now. It's, you plug in a phone, and it sounds pretty good. Now, uh, SD card. So I have not tried the SD card function on this thing yet. Actually, I take that back. I'm not going to make an SD card for this because there's really no point. Because nobody ever is ever going to use it. And then finally, the last mode you have is USB. So uh, you plug in a USB key and then you can thumb through songs. 
I nobody's gonna use it, so I'm not gonna test it. And then to shut it off and shut off all the modes entirely, you just uh, long press mode and you're good to go. Now let's try out the alarm. So to set an alarm, you have to hold down the alarm button, and then you just do the knob until you're satisfied. You can you can. Uh, pick whichever uh, alarm you want blank is uh, the regular alarm SD card plays from the SD card and radio plays from the radio and then the alarm volume and then you can pick what days of the week you want it like do you want it on the weekdays or do you want it all days or whatever and then at 11 o'clock in the morning it will sound this thing does have dual alarms, so you can set up a second alarm if you must. And to shut off the alarms, you just press the buttons. They do absolutely nothing when you're not in a mode. And there you are. So uh, let's test out the uh, USB charging function. So to test its capabilities in charging, let's plug in something that um, you wouldn't normally charge with this thing. This is a RAV Power um, battery bank, so let's plug it in, yeah? And there you are. It's charging. Anyway, thank you for watching this review of the Thopopli, I still hate that name, K11 Bluetooth alarm clock whatever this is multi-function alarm clock we'll call it so uh, for twenty one dollars it's a spanking deal especially considering that you can get an iHome that does a lot of the same things for seventy you can get a lot of different alarm clocks that are probably twice the price and can't do and can't do what this thing can do my only knocks I have for this thing are uh, the sound quality which is not the greatest it's about I want to say it's uh, not the best but it's not the worst either I mean there's some bass there's you know all that and uh, another knock I have is the unintuitive controls which I firmly believe they should fix and finally the last knock is that display which is reflective and you can see me that's not a very good design thank you for watching and see you in the next video Peace.